your boy Super Mario 1990 coming at y'all with a unboxing of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. So the game from 10 years ago got the remaster treatment earlier this month and I just copped it for 25 bucks uh, just this weekend due to Black Friday sales. So I was like, cool, it's a uh, record price is 40 bucks because it's just a remaster. So it's like, uh, I'm like, okay, cool. Let me pay like about half the price, then I'll be set. So they finally did it. And so this game was, I remember it was like a lot of fun back in the day when I played it. And the first ever Need for Speed game that I played was Need for Speed High Stakes. That was my introduction to Need for Speed. And High Stakes had the Hot Pursuit mode. And that's basically the mode that I played all the time. Uh, that was the one that had like the Lamborghini on the cover right next to the Porsche 911 and you just getting away from cops, uh, trying to dodge all the little roadblocks and the spikes and all that, that was really fun. And then they actually made a hot pursuit kind of game. And then they actually had it where you can also use cops too. And so when they had the PS3 version, I was really into this one, uh, using cops, using street races, really, really fun. And so you had the slow-mo crashes in here too. I remember that, that was always really fun. So. With this game, what you get is you get all the package DLC into the game. So all the stuff that you had to buy back then, it already comes for free um, with this package. And I remember that was the first bit of DLC content that I ever bought because I love, the Lamborghini is my uh, my dream car ever since, you know, Need for Speed High Six put on the cover. And that's like the car that I was racing the most. I would do the Lamborghini Diablo, right? And I would get the purple. I would do the purple color when you let you pick your colors and everything. So it was like always my favorite one. And so I'm like, man, I want to drive the Diablo in here, the Lambo, but they had it locked behind a paywall. You had to pay like, I think it was like three bucks or six bucks, something like that. But now I don't have to worry about that. It's already free with the game. I'm sure you just got to like earn it through SP or something like that. And they also added six hours of extra content. Now, what the extra content entails, I don't really know. Uh, I just remember hearing about it when this game was coming out. I'm pretty sure it's like more races more like time trials and things like that. I think they, they just add like more uh, levels and layers to the game, but that's cool. So you get that extra content and you get the DLC content. Everything is all good. And um, yeah, I remember like when I bought that Lamborghini pack, I was kind of a little pissed cause um, I came up in a nineties game. And so back then, you know, everything was in the game. If something was locked or, um, you know, exclusive, you had to unlock it by playing or beating a certain level or whatever. So I'm like, you know, this whole buying stuff, man, I ain't cool with that. But now, to this day, that's just how it is. But it's nice to, since this is a remaster, it's nice to just always, just already have that. So we good. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the cover. It's pretty much the same cover as the original, just with the remastered on there, so you know what's up. And then of course, it's on a new system, you know. Oh, well, the last gen system now, because we got PS5s out and Xbox Series X is out. So I'm gonna read through too on the back so y'all know what the features is and everything. So it says, it's time to reignite the pursuit. Unleash a savage sense of speed as both outlaw and cop and the socially competitive racing experience with enhanced visuals and crossplay. And you get um, the online support and everything like you had back then, which I, I was never into, but if that's like the, if that was like the driving force of this game, you got that with this one. So that's really good if you're into that. And so it says one player, and then it says two to eight network players. Online play is optional, DualShock 4, and it only takes a 20 gigabytes minimum, so that's really good. And then it's PS4 Pro enhanced, and then it's rated E10 for mild language and, oh, mild lyrics, I mean mild lyrics and mild violence. So there we go. Like I said, I can't wait to get that Lamborghini. I think it was a Diablo SV they had in this game featured. So this is going to be what's up. This was like one of my favorite Need for Speeds. Uh, I really like this. I like high stakes. I like the underground, like underground um, one and two. I never owned either one of those, but my brother did. So every time like he was like off his Xbox, I'm like, yo man, can I borrow the Xbox so I can play that, you know, Need for Speed underground? I don't know why I just, I never brought my own copy, but I think because I played here so much, I felt like I didn't need it. I kind of regret that though, but this is one of my favorites. And Need for Speed Heat from last year, man. Need for Speed Heat. That was fire. I love heat. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. They give you driving controls. So you have English, and I'm pretty sure this is Espanol. I would assume anyway. Commandante de Congrit. I'm playing. I'm just making stuff up. I don't even know if that's how you say that. 
I think it's Spanish. You would assume it's the most popular language, right? But yeah, they actually give you control, so that's nice. I don't think I would need them. Um, I mean, if you if you play racing games, uh, street racing games like this, I think you pretty much know how to shift control. You know, it doesn't really change much. And here goes the disc. That's what we got. So yeah, uh, 40 bucks regular price, uh, 25 this weekend uh, because of Black Friday. Uh, it's, it's a steal, I think, you know, and especially if you um, haven't even played this. This is really fun to check out. Um, I mean, if, if you just came off of playing Need for Speed Heat, then I don't know, it might be a little underwhelming. I think it's more for the OG fans. Uh, new Need for Speed players who've played Need for Speed Heat or like more of the newer Need for Speeds, I don't know if you'll like this one as much, maybe. I don't know. I, th I think it's more of a, a nostalgia hit, I, I think it would be. But, you know, that's just my take on it. But I will be doing, I, I will be doing a playthrough, a light playthrough. I mean, um, I'm not actually good with beating racing games. I'm not really good with, um, you know, especially those simulation racing games. That's why I stick to the street racing. I, I'm more into like just the fast, nice exotic cars and then crash and dirty racing and all that stuff. And like, like I said, like the slow-mo crash is really cool. That's why I like the payback. Payback lacked a lot of things, but I like the little cop chases and the slow motion crashes. That was really fun. So, I mean, with this one, y'all be doing a playthrough. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna beat it. The only need for speed that I ever beat was Heat from last year, which is probably why it's one of my favorites because it was easy to beat. And it was really fun and you can like get any car you can customize anything that you want with that car that was like i'm like yo this is what's up if need for speed if they stay making the games like this then they good they back to their glory days so yeah y'all i'm gonna have that coming up for y'all and um i mean i don't know how long the series will be but i guess every time i play the game i'll drop a video but yeah i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this and let me know um y'all favorite moments if you played the you know the original if you're looking forward to playing the remaster, or if you're just going to be like, eh, pass on that. I played it before. Did a newer Need for Speeds. I really like. I'm cool with them. But yeah, this is Super Mario 1990. I'm out. Peace in.